two forces 300 newtons at 0 degrees and 400 newtons at 90 degrees pull on an object? Answer the following. A. Draw a diagram showing the forces acting on the object. So first we're going to draw our ground level here. So this is the ground here. We're now going to draw our object to be say a box centered on our ground here. We're now going to draw in both of our forces. So the first one is a 300 newton force at 0 degrees. So we're going to go to the right side of the box, draw in a force of 300 newtons at 0 degrees. We then go and show the 400 newtons at 90 degrees, which would be straight up off the top of the box. So that's 400 newtons. So here we have just drawn the diagram showing the forces acting on the object. Question B says draw a sketch showing the vector sum of the two forces. So in red before we showed that at a zero degree angle we have a force of 300 newtons acting on our object and we also have a 400 newton force acting at a 90 degree angle on our object which would result in our resultant of R. Now to draw the sketch we use the tail tip method where we draw A and then add B to it and connect the starting point of the first vector to the ending point of the other vector and that gives us our resultant vector R shown in blue here. Part C says find the magnitude of the resultant vector. So once again we're going to draw a sketch of our vectors. So we have the 300 newtons at 0 degrees and we're going to have the 400 newtons at 90 degree angle and now we have our resultant vector R. In order to solve for the magnitude of R, we have to apply the Pythagorean theorem, which dictates R squared is equal to 300 newtons squared plus 400 newtons squared. Now in order to solve for just R, we have to take the square root of both sides. So we would find that R is equal to the square root of 300 newtons squared plus 400 newtons squared. If we now square both of them, we would have r is equal to the square root of 90,000 square newtons plus 160,000 square newtons. We add those together, r is equal to 250,000 square newtons. Now take the square root of that, we find that r is equal to 500 newtons. So here we have just calculated the magnitude of R to be 500 newtons. Part D says find the direction of the resultant force. So once again we're going to draw a sketch of our vectors. So once again the 300 newton force acting at 0 degrees. We then again have our 400 newton force acting at 90 degrees which results in our resultant of R. Now we want to calculate this angle here with respect to the x-axis. In order to do that we could use sine, cosine, or tan of theta. I'm going to use tan, tan of theta which is equal to the opposite which is 400 newtons over the adjacent which is 300 newtons. And now theta, to solve for just theta alone we have to take the tan inverse of both sides. So if we do that we would get tan inverse of 400 newtons over 300 newtons. Tan inverse of that is equal to r theta. If we now evaluate this, we would find that theta is equal to approximately 53 degrees. So here we've just calculated the direction of our resultant vector r to be 50 53 degrees with respect to the x-axis.